but I just use this in the field. I use it for green algae, for yellow algae, for the algae that looks like little um, dirt stains on the bottom of the pool. Any kind of algae this works very effective for. And I just use this exclusively with the liquid chlorine and with the shock. And again, remember to um, raise your chlorine level up in the pool if that's the reason why you have the algae. And you get a, you got two different algae brushes. You got this big one here that's pretty good at getting the big spots of algae off. And you got this little one here where you can really dig into it and really brush that algae out. It's very uh, important to brush the algae completely out. So this is really good because it's small and it's, you're able to actually get a lot of uh, pressure on that on the wall of the pool to brush that algae out. So the uh, yellow trine sodium bromide has a guide on the side of how much you should put in. But I'm just going to tell you the rule of thumb that we use out here in the field. Um, if you have a little bit of algae, use a little bit. But if you have a, just a fairly amount, of, good amount of algae and it, it's pretty stuck to the sides, you want to double that up. So I'll show you uh, basically uh, how much to use if your algae level is not too severe. Here's a more typical case of algae. The chlorine level is really good in the pool. And you just got a little bit right here in this deep end in the shade. So all it's going to need is one cap full of the yellow trine and one gallon of the liquid chlorine to clear that up. And no shock is necessary since the chlorine level is high. And I won't need the super chlorinate by filling the tablets up either. Just got a little bit of algae that's growing in the shade and this will take care of it for sure. Okay, so I brushed it off. It actually came off very easy. I'm just going to broadcast that there. I'm going to get the gallon. I'm going to pour it right over that. And that will take care of that. A little bit of yellow is open. You want to take care of the yellow when you see it, otherwise it could bloom and uh, spread to the whole pool. And there you see the reaction of the two chemicals mixing together. And that will definitely take care of that algae. Okay, so this is a typical algae that you're going to get in your pool. Usually in the shallow end you'll develop like a row of the yellow mustard algae. And this one here is actually spread all along the deep end in splotches. And so I'll show you what I'm going to do to treat this um, yellow algae bloom here. Okay, after testing the water, it shows a really low chlorine level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, run two bags of this Super Shock Wave. And I mentioned in my chemical video that this is a really good shock. It's got 70% active chlorine. So I'm going to pour this into the skimmer over there and we'll get this pool shocked first. Okay, so I'm going to pour two bags in here. Let it run through the system. Again, you don't want to throw it directly into the pool. It tends to cause a, a cloudy, powdery formation. I'm going to go ahead and brush it with a smaller 6 inch steel br uh, algae brush. Since uh, the chlorine level is low, the algae is pretty stuck to the walls and I'll have to use a little more muscle to get it off. So let me brush it. Okay, so since it's a pretty severe amount of algae all along the one wall, I'm going to go ahead and use two gallons of liquid and eight ounces of this yellow trine, which is about two capfuls, give or take. And you want to stay within guidelines because the yellow trine tends to eat the chlorine and the algae will also eat some of the chlorine up along with the sun also. So we're going to um, throw this in right now. I'll show you how I do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it over the algae area like so. And then behind it, I'm going to take the gallon and let it mix right where I poured that yellow trine. And that way it combines together and does a pretty effective job mixing the two chemicals. You can see the, the water turning yellow and that's the chemicals mixing together. And I'll do the same thing over here on this end here. So again, I have the cap full of yellow trine and I'll spread it here along where that algae was on this side of the wall. And I'll take the gallon and I'll pour it right over it. And that'll kill that algae there. Now I also put two bags of shock in the pool so that shocks the water and bring up the chlorine level. I'll show you one more thing we're going to do to make sure the chlorine level stays high the rest of the week. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to fill up their floater completely with chlorine tablets. Um, you need to shock the pool to bring the chlorine level up and these tablets will keep the chlorine level high. Um, I have it open all the way also, and these will keep the chlorine level high all week long. You can't just put tablets in there because they dissolve slowly and they work off the active chlorine. So you definitely need to shock the pool. And as you can see, I brushed the algae so it's all gone, and that yellow trine will kill it. I guarantee by next week, 
there'll be no algae here and the corn level will probably stay above 3.0 the whole week with the two bags of shock and with this thing full of tablets. And if your filter is running good and clean, you shouldn't have the algae reform. If you need to clean the filter, definitely do that. That's also a sign that the filter is dirty if you develop a lot of algae in your pool. And again, it will grow mainly in the shade and it will grow from March all the way through the end of summer. And I can't emphasize this point enough that chlorine and shock by itself will not kill the algae. A lot of algae actually develops chlorine resistance. You need this yellow trine mixed with the chlorine and the shock treatment to actually get rid of the yellow in your pool. So, and you don't need any other chemical. This works for all the all the algaes, yellow, green, the um, and if depending on how much algae is in your pools, how much to use. If this was whole pool was covered in algae, I would definitely have used four or five capfuls and four gallons of liquid chlorine to clear the algae out of it. But since it was only this far wall. I didn't need that huge treatment.